Welcome back to another Warhammer Age of Sigmar painting tutorial. This time we'll be painting the Briar Queen miniature from the Night Vault core set. And as always, we'll be using the Citadel range of paints to do so. Before we can begin painting, we first of all need to prime. I like to use a grey primer for this task, as it works as a good base coat to build upon for both lighter and darker colours. You can use any miniature suitable grey primer that you have to hand for this. The first step in painting the Briar Queen is to paint the fabric, skin and face, and for this we'll be using Iron Rack Skin to give us a warm off-white colour. However, before you apply the paint, we first of all want to water it down slightly. Thinning out the paint will not only make it easy to work with, but if we apply a couple of coats, we'll be left with a much smoother finish. So take your paint and mix it in with an equal amount of water. With your thinned iron rack skin, paint all of the areas mentioned earlier. Your first coat won't cover completely, but don't worry. Simply allow that layer to dry before applying a second coat over the top. This layering technique will help you to avoid applying the paint too thickly while still achieving a smooth and even coverage. To paint the wine red colour of the Briar Queen's corset, we'll be starting off with a base coat of corn red. Take care when applying this paint as you don't want to overspill onto the areas that we've painted with iron rack skin. For the handle of the dagger, we'll be using a base coat of a bad and black. Remember to thin down your base coat and apply a couple of thin coats of paint. To paint the brown leather sheath of the dagger, start things off with a base coat of Rhinox Hide. In order for the Briar Queen's veil to stand out against the warmer robes, we'll be using a base coat of the cooler Celestra Grey. You can also use this paint to paint on the thread around the waist and the dagger. For the twisted thorns and branches on the base, we'll be starting off with a base coat of Castellan Green. To paint the purple roses, we'll be using Zerius Purple. This isn't a base paint, however, so make sure to apply a couple of thin coats to ensure a good, even coverage. The final base coat to apply is to all of the metal areas. For this task, we'll be using Balthazar Gold to give us an antique gold colour. Take particular care with this paint application, as metal paints are a little tricky to paint over if you do overspill. Once you have completed this step, be sure to clean out your brushes and water part thoroughly to avoid any cross-contamination of metal flakes to your other paints. With our base coats completed, we can now start work on our washes. First of all, we want to use Coelia Green Shade. However, before you apply it to your miniature, we first want to thin it down a little. To reduce the strength of the wash, I'm going to mix in a little Lamia Medium in roughly equal parts wash to medium. Then, using our wash, we'll be targeting it into the recesses of all the areas that we base coated with Iron Rack Skin. This will create some very subtle shading and give the robes a spectral appearance. Next, we want to further enhance the ghostly appearance of our Briar Queen with a glaze of Night Haunt Gloom. However, before you do so, I would once again recommend mixing in some Lamia Medium. This time, however, I would opt for two parts medium to one part Night Haunt Gloom to begin with. Then you can apply your thin mixture to the bottom of the robes flowing behind the queen. Start at the bottom and apply a thin layer up to about halfway up the robe. Wait for this layer to dry before applying a second step using the same technique as before. However, this time don't go as far up the robe. Repeat this process until you have a gradient of dark blue at the bottom of the cloth, getting lighter as it moves towards the top. With the robes completed, we can now apply a wash of non-oil to the corset, flowers and also to the areas painted with Celestra Grain. For those latter areas, neat non-oil will be too strong, so mix in a little water or Lamia Medium before application. The final wash is one of Agrax Earthshade, which will be applying to the green, brown and gold areas of the Briar Queen. Once the washes have dried, we can then start with our highlights, and we'll be starting off with a highlight to the robes using Deep Kin Flesh. To do this, take a brush with a fine point and dip it into some slightly watered down paint. Then use this brush to paint on a thin line along the raised edges. This will help to create depth in the miniature and really help to bring out those details. Following the same technique as before, we'll next be highlighting the edges of the corset using Wazdaka Red. With the first highlight completed, we'll next add an extreme highlight of Cadian Flesh Tone to the areas that we painted in the last step. Following the same principle as before, but only apply this highlight to the more prominent edges, such as corners and other sharp points. For the handle of the dagger, we'll be using a highlight of Mechanicus Standard Grey. The edge of the leather sheath can then be highlighted 
using Gawthor Brown. For the edges of the white veil and cord, we can use a thin line of white scar. To pick out the details of the green thorns, we'll be using the lighter colored Lauren Forest. Continuing with the vines, we will then be picking out the edges of the flowers using the Carla Lilac. The final highlights will be to the metal areas, and for this, we'll be using a thin line of Hashuk Copper to finish off that antique gold appearance. And here we have the finished Briar Queen. I finished things off by painting the miniature's base and also varnishing. Now, whilst I focused on the Briar Queen in this video, you could use the same paints and techniques on your other Nighthaunt miniatures as well. You can find a full list of all the paints that I've used in this tutorial in the description below, along with any other equipment that I've used to create this video, such as my Everlasting Wet palette. If you enjoyed this video, do let me know in the comments below, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to check out my Patreon page if you would like to support these videos. If you have any questions or would just like to chat with others who enjoy my channel, I've set up a Discord server, which you can find a link to in the description below. So the only thing left to say is, thanks for watching, and goodbye.